Hello friends, welcome back again. Thanks for your continuous support and interactive comments for making this channel quite interesting. Many of you had requested for more videos to cover up the capital programming. So I'm trying to focus on selective capital functions in each video. In that way, in this video, we will cover about how to save the log file to capital code automatically. And also we will see about how we could save it in different formats through capital. So before we get into the video, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to get more notification on future videos. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, we will see about how to do a log file saving through Capital. So first of all, go to the start menu and if you have already installed Keno, you will find it over there in the start. So go to the start and type in Keno and you will find the Keno application, click on it and you will find the application being opened like this and uh, you have to create a blank configuration firstly and once if you have created the blank configuration uh, go to the analysis tab and uh, click on to the measurement setup and this is where normally we have this uh, logging block which will be enabled or disabled or we'll start the recording or stop the recording or even we will save the file in a specific location but this is all been done manually but in this case in this particular uh, section we are going to see about how to start and stop the logging through Capital instead of doing it manually th through measurement setup. So let us first open the .can file, which is a blank uh, .can file. And once if you open that, uh, um, you have to right click onto the test control. And so you will have the option of new main test. So main test is the first uh, section where it will be starting to execute all your test sequence inside the main test. Uh, so here is where we are going to write the write our code to start our logging. Uh, okay, we have a name called uh, set log file name. And here we have to give the name of the log file. So I'm going to give the name of the log file as log file itself. And the format that I wanted to record is uh, uh, AAC format. Okay, now with this function set log file name, we have set the logging file name and its format. Now, secondly, we have to start our logging, right? So soon when the measurement starts, not only the measurement starts, soon when the test, the capital test module is triggered, what it will do is it will first set the name of the logging file and then it will start the logging with this function, start logging function. And then this is the place where you have to uh, do all your test sequences. So for the test purpose, uh, I'm just using a short delay. So I'm giving a five seconds delay because I'm not doing any uh, test operation. I'm just going to uh, show you how it will start and stop the logging and how it will save the file. This is what the intention of this particular section. Uh, we have started the logging, right? So we have to stop our logging as well at some point of time. So once if you, all your test sequences are done and then you can use the stop logging function and uh, we're good. So I saved the .can file. So what this test module will do is, soon when you triggered this particular uh, capital test module in your start measurement, it will start to execute the test sequences which is mentioned under the main test function. So first of all, the first step is set log file name. So it will set the log file name and then it will start the logging and then it will perform the test sequences. And all after your all uh, test sequences, uh, when it comes to the stop logging function, it will stop the logging and then it will save the file in your default configuration path so that is how uh, that will this will work so let me uh, i save my dot can file i have to link it into my um, canoe configuration so for that go to the test and then go to the test setup option and here you have to create a new environment if you already have a test environment it's good you can just attach your dot can file so here i'm going to create a test environment firstly so only after you created a test environment, only then you will be able to link the .can file. So I created the test environment and then I'm going to right click on to the test environment. So here 
we have the insert capital test module. So once if you have inserted your capital test module, you will find the uh, skeleton uh, version here. Right click onto it and then you have to link the file here. Go to the configuration and then in the file, you have to browse through your .can file and then link it. So now I have linked it. My test model is available here. All I just need to do is I will just need to run the configuration and then I have to start this function to see how it gets logged. So this is the location where you will not find any log.ac file now. So now I am going to start the measurement and just have a look on to this particular uh, logging block. Go to the test module in the test tab in the test module. I will find the uh, .can file being seen here. Play it. Now my logging will start and it stopped. You see there is a change in the symbol. Now I am stopping my measurement. Go to the sample configuration. Now we will find the .ac file stored in the log file format. So this is what uh, this is how you could trigger it through your capital file. And if you wanted to save the uh, log file in a different naming or for example with some additional information like a date for that you still have an option go to the uh, same log file name and then here you you can give like the log file underscore then open curly braces and then you can mention the date and then dot you could give the blf file as the format to be changed and now we are going to save this function go to the configuration now we have uh, saved the configuration so we it will ask for you to save the uh, test enrollment now we save it and we are going to start the configuration and uh, we are going to again uh, run this dot test file and it stopped our uh, test execution uh, you will see in the analysis that uh, this time the name of the logging file has been changed automatically like log file underscore the date this is what we have mentioned in the code now we will see about in the we'll see in the path the default configuration now you will find like log file underscore the date underscore dot blf earlier we had the uh, dot aac file being stored and now this time we will see like dot blf with the with the logging file name along with that we have the date mentioned in the uh, code so this is how you could use the uh, capital function in order to start and stop the logging and to store the log file in the specific format as per your need with that, we had come to the conclusion of this video. Hope you got an insight about how to save the log file through Capital Coding. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos which are about to come. Thank you and see you in another video.